YouTube, what is good? It is me, it is I, back again with a, another Royal Guardians video. <sighs> Sorry about that, a little tired, just woke up not too long ago. But um, yeah, let's get into the video. So today we're going to be talking about um, the best tank. And personally, I would um, go with either Brownie, which is this teddy bear dude here, or Kenneth. These two for me are like no-brainers. Um, the other three or two tanks are, aren't that great. Like this guy is just bleeds. Um, I, I liked him early on, but I resorted to um, Kenneth or Brownie just because of uh, survivability. Um, but his um, attributes aren't bad. You know, there's 50% chance for you to reduce damage by 50% and counter attack the monster. So he isn't horrible, but just off of build paths, I generally liked um, Kenneth or like I said, Brownie. Um, Kenneth really outshines, I would probably say everyone though, just based off of his um, attribute with the... Um, damage reduction of 6% for every 8% health and it maxes out at 48% which is huge you're basically negating damn near 50% damage and um why I like the stress um path builds a lot is because you could really maximize his damage reduction by building um blood pack and syringe which are these two items here if you read this, it takes down 4% of your HP per second, right? So you're getting 8% every two seconds, which is going to increase your damage reduction on Kenneth. With the syringe, you're going to be getting 8% or every 8%, you're going to be getting um, attack damage of 40%. So you do the math. This is for all your champions. So all of your people will be getting damage. They will all be getting healed, but they will also be losing that, you know, 4% HP every second. But they interchange with each other. So these two items, though, hands down, synergize very well together. Like I said, you use this, these two with Kenneth, you're basically going to be always at the 48% damn near, depending on how fast you can get these two items. And then, you know, tier three is just even better for both of them and then after that like it all really depends on what you want to build if you want to do even more damage reduction which is by far always a good thing because he's your frontline tank he's going to be soaking all the damage um you can always go shield that's going to reduce damage by 10 percent. so what 10 plus 48 you're at 58 percent damage reduction with this uh, item alone and then tier three is just even better um, if you guys are at the tier three stage of the game, like I said, same thing. Um, well, not the same thing for Brownie, um, with Brownie, I would go just with a, uh, attack speed, um, the Fury build because his, um, attribute works a little different. His shield comes on when he's reloading. See when, after you run out of bullets, you get the damage taken by um 25 percent for 10 seconds which is it's pretty good not as good as kenneth obviously but you could make it so he always has a shield on by going through the fury and ring path build that's why i constantly stress to you guys it's not always about <clears throat> which tank is the best it just all really depends on how you synergize your team and with the items you build as well um but for brownie i would definitely recommend wizard uh wizard rope and ring just because these two are going to help you um attack a lot faster so your guy's going to constantly be reloading so he's constantly going to be getting that um reduction shield and then it's even increased more i, I believe by an extra 33 percent i believe um yeah the shield that you get gives you a 33 percent damage reduction so the 25 plus 33 you do the math <laughs> so like i said it all really depends on how you want to build um kaka pig he's 
okay. I wouldn't recommend going him unless you're going to go with the priest, um, Fona, who's going to give your team a shield. So, um, she has a shield effect increased by 30%. And with Kaka Pig, he has a attribute as well that gets a shield. So you have 50% shield effect just with them two alone. So again, synergy, guys, it's all about who you're going to have on your team versus who's the best, who's the best, because none of these guys compare to the s rank champions. They're hands down the best of the best. Um, Unless you're going into PvP, then I would probably take this guy out. Maybe for Kenneth. That's a long shot, though. Just a long shot. Something I've been... um cooking in a lab that I'm going to give a try later when I get super serious about PvP. Um, but yeah, guys, hands down, Brownie or Kenneth, if you can get your hands on them too, which is super easy. You should be able to get them in no time. And yeah, these three here, not too bad, but the way the game is made, it's really simple to get either of these two, so I would definitely just prioritize either Brownie or Kenneth. Personally, I would go with Kenneth, but it all depends on how you want to build. So, kind of confusing in a way, not too confusing, but you, you guys will get it when you start to play the game and see what items go good with what characters and stuff like that. And then you'll it'll, it'll all click, and you'll be like, okay, I, I'm starting to understand why. It's not really a crazy difference between all of the guys because it really depends on how you build your team. So, but yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new, um, like the video and comment down below if you have any questions. I'm out, peace.